Oh yeah, episode 15, live from Scotty's Alibi Inn. It's the Scotty and Bo podcast show. That's right, folks. This week we're live. We're together. There's video the whole nine yards. No matter how you listen in this week, you're going to have a ball. Stick around. It's 15. Let's do it. Featuring stories from the road, two of your most outlandish cover band musicians out there. That's right, two guys that'll put $5,000 worth of shit in the trunk of a car to go make $50 in free fireball. It's the Scotty V Pimpo Show Podcast. Cephas. It's the first in-person pod with video. Yeah, with video. And we're here at the Alibi. Yes. Yes, sir. We are. The Alibi Inn. We have plenty of, uh, I don't know if, what do you want to call it, uh, refreshments, spirits? Yeah, yeah, spirits, you know. Don't want to get too dehydrated. This, uh, This Quincy oxygen does it to you. This pod here is brought to you by Jim Bayham Whiskey. On the rocks. No mix or nothing. Well, I got a DD, so I'm good to go. Yeah. Interesting. Ta-da. Today. Here we are, episode 15, live in person. I don't keep track of the numbers. Have a shot. Okay. I got you. I thought that's what I just poured, but. Well, that's a chaser. At least you didn't give me that poison that you have in your hand. Uh Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey. It should be a sponsor by now. Jesus. All right, ready? Ready. Here's a 15, live in person. Ah, yes, sir. Now we can. Now, mm. now we're where we need to be. It's hard with chewing your mouth. Yeah, I'm not I'm not on no chew. I, uh, I was chewing the Nicorettes, <clears throat> but... You got to order that shit, and I forgot to order it, so I'm out, so... You got to order it? Yeah, I... can't just buy it at the Dollar General? No. I think you got to go to, like... You might be able to get it at Walmart. I usually get it on Amazon. Yeah, everything's on fucking Amazon. Everything. I've been killing time in town all day. Well, tell us about your day, Bo. This killing (laughs) time is killing killing me. (laughs) Yeah, um... What are you doing down here? So, let our let our listeners know. I drove to Carthage and had breakfast. Oh, that's first things first. <laughs> first things first. Then I hopped on the big road, three thirty six, and I hauled ass up to town. And I got to the dentist office at seven thirty for my eight o'clock appointment because I like to be early. Understand? I beat everybody there. I watched yeah. everybody that works there pull in. Trying to think of uh, the front desk lady's name. Hmm. I I'm forget. terrible with names, so yeah. I couldn't tell you. But uh, got my teeth cleaned. Yeah, all good. All good. No, no cavities. No cavities. He even had X-rays. Yeah. But I do have a tooth that needs a crown. Well, you're a fucking king. <laughs> a king of what? I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, uh, t- so tell me this: when they was cleaning your teeth, how old are you now? Forty. I'm thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. Been chewing for how long? Off and on for 15, 20, 20 years. years. They didn't no do no tooth decay down there, huh? I brush my teeth religiously and I floss every day. Well, not every day, but at least every other. So we can say as long as you take care of your mouth. Yeah. You can chew all the fuck you want. Go to a six month cleaning. 
every time. Yep. Don't miss it. There you go, listeners. You want to chew? <laughs> Fuck the Surgical Jenner. Jenner's <laughs> warning about you're going to lose your fucking gum. Just, it's it's proper hygiene. I'm missing a couple of teeth because yeah. uh, I had what should have been a root canal, and I didn't want to pay the money. And I just had him pull them. Yeah, that's uh, that's speaking of fucking teeth. I have two. That's how I have all my holes. Yeah, I'm mi- I, I'm missing two, and they're very important. One on each side. Yeah. Main chewers. Can't eat peanuts. No, yeah. a peanut buster parfait is a bitch. It's yeah, very I, you can't eat peanuts, man. <laughs> it's rough. It's a fucking task. Speaking of teeth, um, a lot of our listeners know about my teeth. Um, broke them. Fucking broke them this week. So I'm going to the same place on Thursday. You broke them this weekend. Every weekend there's an issue with your teeth. I know. It's a fucking bitch. Most of the time you lose them. (laughs) Misplace. I don't know. But this week you broke them. They broke. Broke a tooth. How'd you break them? Um, Well, it was was Easter. I got to spend it with uh, Dan. Me and old Danny Stevens becoming uh, quite quite the pair. Lucky, you're lucky that fucker can't sing and play guitar. You'd be fucked. I picture you guys like, uh, what's that? Um, what's the bear? The two bears at <laughs> Jellystone Park? That's you. No. And you're the forest ranger, Yogi Bear and Boo Boo. You're, you're Boo Boo. He's Yogi Bear. I like and I'm to, the ranger. I like to think of us as Lyle and Hardy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but no, you know, I. Went out to the campgrounds, uh, spent spent Saturday out there. I'm going to start calling him Yogi and you boo-boo. Boo-boo. <laughs> we know he's listening to this fucker, so he might not let you live that down. He might. i seen that picture of him trying to cut that deck. He fixed it. It's level. It wasn't level. It wasn't level. I no. think that level I have is actually a little off. No, it's- About a half it's, bubble off. It's perfectly level. However, it did not take more than three weeks- um, having issues with it coming up. That's because you haven't put all the screws put in. All the screws in. So <laughs> Rachel put a bunch in this weekend. Nice. Jackson mowed the grass. What did you do? I drank beer. <laughs> I fucked with chips all week, Bo. So speaking, speaking of chips, that's a that's a camaraderie basket I got for you. Um, we I got, said I wasn't going to do this unless we had snacks, and you you came through with the came snacks. Through. I mean, it's stuff that. I wouldn't normally get, and I think that's why you have them. Um, <laughs> simply organic <laughs> Doritos. That's fucking white cheddar, though. I would never pay money for those. You, but I'm going to try them. We're going to try them today. <laughs> uh, sour cream and onion. Eh. Never even heard of these. Well, Pretzel. that's the problem. I got, I have. Uh, that's fi- the first thing I'm going to try. I have 50 bags of those. So feel free to take some when you, on your way out. Oh, money. I would actually buy these right here. Yeah, peanut butter munchies, I'd buy those all day long. A little cracker. Cracker's yeah. good for you. That might be for later on, but. How about that? Uh, Now, this this is a shit right here. I like this. A little matador jerky. Yeah. Seven so you bucks sling for this, that. too? Yeah, seven bucks for that bag. Show me how go. to uh, pop and lace. Um, I can't. I can't. It's copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't just give those secrets away, Bo. <laughs> uh, I can't believe you tried to pass some organic chips off on me. Hey. I've never had organic anything. So this ain't trader. This isn't whole foods. <laughs> whole foods. Yeah. So here's my thing: is uh, I'm a pack rat. Um, if it's free, I'm taking it. Me too. I'm, I got a problem. The shit was free. Yeah, I'd, I'd have a real problem. Back when my trucking days, I used to bring home uh, cinnamon rolls, you'll play yogurt. One time, they had these uh, brown fudge-filled brownie microwave bowls. Nice. I'm you, following you. You put them in a microwave, yep. and then the, they make middle, a brownie. the middle of it is fudge, and then a brownie bakes around this fudge. Oh, wow. And the fudge in the middle will eat through your face <laughs> like acid <laughs> if you try to eat it right after it's been done cooking <laughs> it is so lava it's a, hot it's like, it's like a pizza roll <laughs> you might do a pizza roll at the wrong time home drunk after a show you're <laughs> fucked yeah i've ruined my mouth on pizza mm. rolls before but you're so hungry you just keep eating them. the secret is to pop it with like a toothpick or something yeah. and lace it <laughs> 
Pop it like it's hot. <laughs> Pop it like it's hot. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, shit. So what else is going on with your week, Bo Wayne? How's, okay, how's well, I only got to like the first part of my morning. So I got done. Oh, yeah, yeah, got, yeah. Got done with the... Uh, the tooth teeth cleaning. Yep, all good. All good there. I had to really kill time. So what I did was I wasted time at every stop. I sat there and just piddled on my phone. I had to make. A, I had to call the health department about our farmers market getting ready to start. So I got that done. Then I went over to Harbor Freight and got gloves, safety glasses. Um, on that park credit card. Yeah, I spent yeah. two hundred bucks over there. <laughs> But I had to get, it's all like safety stuff because we're getting yeah, ready get to it. kick into high gear. So I got to have that stuff available. Yep. And then, uh, and that's about the cheapest place to get it. Yeah. I got all my safety gear right now. What you got? Steel toe? Oh. Look at those bad boys. Those nice. Stuff. You wear volleyball knee pads to you work. You got to wear fucking knee pads. You're on your fucking that's knees. That's how you get to the top. Well, Everybody fuck. knows it. Everybody knows it. But yeah, so I. Uh, so so wait, wait a minute. Let, let, let's back this up. Let's back this up. So Harbor Freight was my first. No, time. how long can a dentist appointment possibly take? It was hour? an hour. It was an, an hour. hour. Yeah. So you're out of there at nine. Mm-hmm. You did not get with me until about three thirty. So what in the fuck? So I went to Harbor it's Freight. Like seven hours, and I walked through every aisle at Harbor Freight. Any deals? There was some deals, and I, I bought like tape measure, a new level because I don't trust my old level. <laughs> Everything's off level in Minden, so it don't matter. Well. It, it's, uh, it's really bothering me because it's like I've been fighting this level and I think it's bad, and I I don't ha- I didn't have another level to compare it against, so I had to buy another level. So I, I bought. Think, I don't think they go bad. I bought a little level and a bigger level, and then uh, let's see what else did I get. Oh, I bought stuff to build a kayak launch. Really? Yeah. So that's gonna go go up here pretty quick. Been really going gangbusters. But anyway, got that stuff. Then I went to Menards. Hmm. Hmm. I've been converting all the uh, fluorescent light bulbs, the long light bulbs, tube yep. lights into uh, LED replacements. Uh, I like that. See that, Hamilton listeners? Saving the town money. Dude, we cut our electric bill in half last yep. summer. Um, it's unbelievable, the difference. So I went ahead and got enough to replace every bulb now. And um, so that'll be a little rainy day project. And then... Uh, Bought some stuff to seal the concrete. So by now it's about eleven thirty. Mm-hmm. I mean, let's be honest. You still got four hours here. What are you doing? I went out in the parking lot and my van wouldn't start. Fuck. <laughs> so I was in at Menards and they sell car batteries. Yeah. So I went back in and got a new battery, and I bought the tool to do batteries. It's like a really handy tool, and I've always thought about buying one, but I never did. So I bought that. Went out there, started taking the battery apart, and I dropped a piece of the tool into the engine compartment and lost it. Mm. Right off the bat. Mm. Never even got it on the bolt. It fell off. Gone. I spent half hour on the ground. This guy came out. He tried to take the cart like three times. I was like, man, I need it to bring the old battery back. He kept wanting to take my cart. So oh, that guy out there, he's a little he's a little different. So I, I, know, uh, I know just who you mean. Yeah, so I... Uh, I gave up on finding that, replaced the battery, brought the other one back, got my core charge back, and now we're talking like uh, lunchtime, mm-hmm. noonish. Yeah. So I went to uh, Mormon Park. Mormon, that's the Avenue of Light, City of Lights, mm-hmm. Avenue of Lights Park. Yep. Yep. Nice and park. Got to nice check park. out the competition. Yeah. You're They're a- mowing. We haven't really mowed. We mowed one little square, but uh, here's the thing: is if you, you know competition Bo, you just should have went over to ram park they had like four guys mowing yeah they they have a fucking crew here one guy got stuck in this lower part and left these huge ass ruts Fuck. oh Job i would have been chewing his ass Job security uh, yeah so there's four guys in that park and there's four guys in another park and four guys in another park yeah i know it's crazy it's a crew here so i'm sitting there and the, I, I found an empty parking lot, a, the far corner of Upper Mormon Park. Yeah, where we used to go for lunch. Yeah, and I, I parked along. Uh, I also did some parking back there in my single days. Yeah, well, you know. And uh, so I don't think about that up there. I got caught. It was oh. embarrassing. And so, uh, so we're up there, or I'm up there by myself, and uh, I parked next to the walking path, and people would 
like go around the van is like they were obviously like that's a creepy looking all right folks let's let's let me bring this into perspective so bo's got this van what is it about an 87 it looks like it's an 87 it's a 94 it's a 94 van Furman plumbing quincy illinois yeah it's all lettered up (laughs) no windows except for the front Mm mm-hmm about three... If you walk by it too close, you'll snag your clothes on the rust. Yeah, three and a half inches of rust. From the bottom up. up. Yeah, it's like falling apart from the bottom up. It looks like you're either A, going to steal a kid. Or blow up a building. Or <laughs> blow up a building. <laughs> or break bad. <laughs> One of those things. I am a fan. It's full of band equipment. Like what a to better, the tippy what, top. Yeah, what a better way to haul equipment than just a van. Mm-hmm. It's so much simpler. You're not pulling a trailer. You're not trying to find somewhere to park. I'm thinking about going to a minivan. Better fuel mileage. Yeah. More comfort. Yeah. More comfort for sure. I'm thinking about, I'm really thinking about buying like a, an Astro. I'd like to have an Astro all wheel drive. Man, that'd yeah. be the shit. But yeah. they're getting old and those are hard to find. Yeah. What I really need is like a. An older van that really didn't get used much. They're out there. They're out. Yeah, you're, they're out there. You can find them. Here's the thing that I was thinking about today, actually. It's funny you brought that up. So kind of what, you know, kind of burns my ass a little bit is, I mean, just a little bit. But it's kind of, this story kind of goes full circle is nothing drives me nuts than, like, traffic in Quincy. Like, I'm trying oh, to get. it's terrible. I'm trying to meet you, right? Yeah. And what's in front of me but, like, a 1965 fucking truck. Like hot rod. Mm -hmm. Well, if it's a hot rod, hot rod that motherfucker. But most of these that are on the road and have a pretty paint job, but they run like shit. And he's out there, like fucking stop driving. That's like a big racing cam. It it's 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 ready to go. It's driving me. It wants to go so bad, but he's just holding it back. Not a gearhead guy. But what's what it made me think about was, so last week's podcast, maybe the week before. We was talking about 90s hip hop when you was at the, on vacation, mm-hmm. how it was kind of tailored to you, right? Yeah. Whoever so, had that playlist was just So on I'm it. telling you right now, cars from the 60s and 70s are about gone. They're about gone. Well, the really cool ones are all in so somebody's collection, yeah. Our kids, they're going to be hot rod in like 1988 Cutlasses. No, and, not even that. It's going to be like 2001 Mitsubishi yeah. Eclipses. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that's just weird. Like, the, you know, to our kid, Ted Jackson, you know, he's, I'm driving an old car, Dad. Oh, yeah, what'd you get, son? You know, you get like a like a 71 Malibu? No, no, no. Well, you get a 69 Mustang? No, no. Got me a 2005 Odyssey. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Honda Element. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Boy, times are changing right in front of us. I don't even think it's going to be that. I think it's going to be cooler to not have a car. And you're gonna be it. You're gonna just have this thing that comes and gets you and takes you to wherever you want and then drops you off at the touch of a button. You know. Yeah, yeah. It's called Uber. No, this is not even no dri- no driver. No driver. Yeah. Yeah. And you're gonna like pay a monthly fee, and it's just gonna move you wherever it takes you. We're slowly working our way towards Wally. Exactly. We're slowly working that way. I mean, if you think about that, and then you add that shit up with uh, the metaverse. I'm not getting on the metaverse. Um, I've been looking at property. Unless unless you can buy a nice venue where we can do live music. Yeah, yeah. so um, I just seen not too long ago, about maybe a month ago, some guy, some random Joe Blow, because nobody's buying in yet, and no one bought into Facebook in the beginning. It's Zuckerberg. It's going to work. Mm-hmm. Is He bought up all the ground around Snoop Dogg's house. Snoop Dogg either got to move or hang out with this guy. Snoop Dogg in the metaverse. Yeah, he's already got his property. Right. Yeah. So, what's it going to take for us to get a to to buy the dot? Yeah, that's what needs to happen. I want the dot in the metaverse. So, if you talk real nice, if you talk real nice, there's or a, the theater in Warsaw. I would like to buy the theater yeah, in Warsaw. I would, I would like to metaverse. go in there just once. Man, I want to have a show in there so bad. Yeah, so do I. Um, Elijah Boyer told me that Justin Skinner was so sick of that place, he's going to just give it to him. Well, I I went over there and jammed with Justin. Yeah, I was there. Weeks. Oh, that's right. I was there. Yeah. 
I don't think he's planning on getting rid of it. I don't. I didn't think so either. I didn't get that vibe, so I didn't even bring it up. Yeah. And Elijah could be absolutely full of shit. In I don't fact, know. I think I haven't talked into taking a mortgage out on his house that he has paid off. And fix the dot? Yeah. I, I, it's just. What I would do is take a mortgage, because his house paid off. Take a mortgage out on the house to make the downstairs of the dot, um, whatever kind of music venue thing yeah. he wants to do, or just a cool studio area. Yeah jam session area and then rent make the top uh, apartment and rent that out yeah that's where the money's at and then once that's all done and he's got a renter take that revenue and put it back into his house and fix his house up that's what i said to do because the guy yeah, it makes sense um the only the only thing is is it's kind of like uh when i uh, lived above chippers it was okay for me Right, because I was. You would have to have a musician yeah, written it yeah. out. Yeah, I mean, can you imagine? In fact, you would can, almost need a musician that'll run the downstairs part. What yeah, it? you know, you got what's her face upstairs. You know, used to run Wildcat Video sleeping <laughs> on a Thursday. Wildcat night, Video on a Thursday night, and it's all of a sudden jam night. You know, you have late fees. Here comes Jared up to sing a couple songs. Let me see your titties, yeah. <laughs> big old titties, <laughs> the hangy titties. It's gonna be a mess. Hey, speaking of which. I don't get into this shit. I never will. I never have. I don't fucking care. And that I seriously mean that from the bottom of my heart. In fact, I voted. I don't vote for shit. I voted for you. Have you seen the the Radio Keokuk Awards? What do they uh, call them? The Dammies? Uh-uh. Fuck every county around here but Hancock County. And I'll go on their radio show and say that. What's going on? So they're having the Dammy Awards. I know that there's an awards, but I, I best, figured it was for businesses. They have the best band. Really? Yep. And they've got they what they've done is they've broken it into county, so you got Lee Henry Road, Ghosts of Judas, and some other band. There's three of them, uh-huh. and then other for Lee County. You know what you got for Hancock County? What do you Six have? Strings Down, Bo Cephas Wayne, Staggered, and Stump Town. Nice. Tell me you can't fuck with those four acts. <laughs> Like, Hancock County just shits out musicians. If you want to really find out who the winner is, you have a a night of music. On a Saturday night with that lineup, and yep. then the next Saturday night you have the Lee County lineup. Yep. Whoever, whichever one, yeah, you know, yeah, blew but, the roof. But I, off. it's just it's amazing. Like you know, I mean, um, those bands are amazing. Don't get me wrong. I've never heard them in person, but I know I've seen Casey's videos. I've seen Judas's yeah. videos. They're fucking badass. Hey, they went to some like legit Judas. Yeah, uh, Ghost of Judas. Yeah. They went to a, a legit recording studio. They're recording right now. But it's pretty fucking. That's a pretty cool lineup from. From Hancock, Hancock County? County. I mean, come on. I feel honored to be on it. That's pretty I awesome. didn't even know I was on it until my kid says, you vote for yourself? I was like, no, I don't vote for shit, but what are you talking about? Yeah, I'm not into voting. I don't think music should be a competition. No, I don't either. I don't either. So I don't and compete? I don't either. And I try to stay out of competing? Yeah. It's just, it's, we did it one time and that was just to get, just to get on a show. Right. Yeah, if it was a, if the, if the. Ta-da. Thank you, sponsors. Yeah, absolutely. We appreciate it. All the love and support. Um, also, thank uh, we'd like to thank Rolled Gold and their uh, pretzel twists. We zesty buffalo. Yeah, we especially uh, like the zesty buffalo. It's a dollar forty nine only. Actually, no, not no more. They quit making them because they didn't fucking sell. But anyway, thanks fuck for them chips. Fuck them chips. Thanks, Rolled Gold, and thanks, BJ Laws. <laughs> 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 yeah i got a good shout out from bj uh driving down the road pulling Amazing. the mower and i got an employee with me and i hear fuck these chips <laughs> yeah i was over at uh i was over at big mooses this weekend he's talking about them fucking chips all right i'm, I'm telling you we're gonna do uh our first merch is gonna be a shirt that says yeah. fuck, these chips, fuck these chips and, and not in my part not in my fucking part <laughs> so let me tell you um I've been on my own now with this fucking chips out of this bullshit training since we started the podcast. I was in training, right? Well, it was was a month and a half of training. Yep. And then another probationary period. And then they finally let you go and you forgot to turn your lights on. Yep. You got pulled over. Yep. Every day has been a new experience. Today Uh, I learned. Hold on. Hold on. Yep. Um, You had an issue fueling. Yeah, that was uh, loud last week. Somebody had a little fuel spill. I got some Casey points, though. (laughs) <laughs> look, at, look at the positive side here now but every day has been something new um whether that's ordering 
something's been fucked up every day. Like, can I just not have a normal day? So today, everything was going pretty good. Pretty fucking good. Didn't have a bunch of chips. It's Tuesday. Tuesdays are a light day. Um, so on light days, when I got to order twice, I'm still trying to make quota. I don't have to, but I want to. You know, I want to look good. I actually want to blow these fuckers out of the water. Yeah, you want to be the best. So today was... What, best goddamn chip, man. Yeah. So what I like to call today was... Because, uh, you know, you go to the place on Monday. You order everything, right? The next day, you're not going to sell much in 24 hours. So you just kind of bring cases in of the three or four hot sellers, right? You bring, you're going to order two cases of Dorito Nacho, a case of uh, Dorito Cool Ranch, a that's, case of Lay's. That's Lace. my go-to. Yeah, in a case of wavy, and that's what you're going to bring in, and you're going to pop and lace and bring everything forward, and you're out the door, right? Mm -hmm. Today's like what I like to call dip day. Ooh. Let's restock the dips. Dips are expensive. I put my hand up on your hip. Yeah. When I dip, you dip, yeah. we dip. You so put I your brought hand in up on my hip. Dollar General Camp Point, I brought in 12 a case, and I brought in nine cases of dip. So I learned today that you can't put all nine cases on your dolly at once. I broke my fucking dolly. Oh, you yeah. got one of them aluminum dollies? It's aluminum with it's got a really long pig nose, really fucking long, and the nose like folds up. That's for them light cases of chips. Yeah. Well, you know, I didn't. I only wanted to make one trip. I had eight cases of chips and all these dips. I'm like, I'll just put the dip on the bottom. It'd be all right. I was having trouble bringing it, rocking that fucker back. I could just and see I start it. getting that fucker you look out like a monkey fucking the football <laughs> in the parking lot. I start getting that point. fucker. I get it out the truck because you got to let it slide down the bumper. There's no lift gate or nothing, so you know you let it slide down the bumper and you walk down and go. Well, that fucker started down that bumper and I about lost her. I fucking get it down, I'm like fuck. Kind of scary, you know that fucking. I'm not worried about the dip breaking. I'm worried about cleaning up all that spinach. Like spinach is nasty. All that glass, it'd just be a fucking mess. Oh, yeah, they're glass jars. Yeah, they're all glass. Why are they so fucking heavy? Holy crap, I forgot about that. Yeah. Okay. So I get it to the ground, I get my bag, and get out of the truck, and I start rolling that fucker back. I can't get it. It won't. It just won't kick back on his two wheels. So then I get kind of pissy, and I put one foot on the on the bumper, and I really, you know, I let gravity take its take its fucking kind of like the golf cart ordeal. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Didn't you learn from the golf cart? And I gave that fucking dolly all I got, and I heard crunch, and yeah, oh, fuck. So I had to unload all that dip, take her in three three at a time. And wouldn't it have been easier to just break that down into two trips? Yeah. And now looking back on it, Bo, yes, it fucking would have. It fucking would have. But how did I know that? But you know so now. Now now I know. And Thursday, you probably have a new dolly. No, they don't do that shit. You got to turn it in. It's a whole fucking ordeal. Oh, so, you no. know what I'm doing Thursday? I'm going to get in there just a little bit early. I'm swapping dollars with somebody. Fuck them. Just can't have nice things, well, Scotty. I, it's, You're I, so rammy. Well, fuck. I ain't got no time for these people. I, I can make three mic cords last me 10 years. Yeah. Use those same three mic cords. Yes. You could wipe out two of the three. In a weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except yeah. for old Blue. Old Blue, she just laughs. <laughs> I fuck, I've had that fucking cord for, since day one. Day I repaired it fucking once. one. That I, son of a bitch. I might have repaired it twice. I only bring that thing out when it's like you're on your second, after your second time. You know, you get your first mic cord's fucked. Your second one's like, all right, fuck it, here we go. Well, this mic cord's fucked. Go, fuck it, get old Blue. Work every time. The cords that are in most danger are the ones you never use because they get like trampled yeah. on in the trailer. Are they in the bottom of the cup? Squished. Yeah. They're always just getting now, crunched. I got my first show this weekend um, where I got to do sound and lights. I have not done sound and lights this year yet. Damn. The only two staggered shows we had where sound and light was provided or hired, whatever. And the rowdy shows, I just used two can lights. And then wet sig, I you you do everything. So we need you to make a poster for our Hollywood and Vine sig show coming mm, up at the end of I'll, this month. I'll do that when I do the cast. I'm gonna do the. That's like a week away, basically. Yeah, or a little over a week away. Two weeks. Um, 
Hollywood and Vine, Wet Sig, we're coming to burn the house down. Yep. We plan on, it better be nice out. We better be out there on that little breezeway area. Yeah, that area. fucking breezeway they got. Yeah, I can't wait. Fucking gorgeous. I can't wait. I'm yeah, excited Anybody gets a chance to uh, check that venue out. It's, What's the um, name of the town? I forget. I don't even know, man. It's the flower capital of the world? No. It's some flower capital of the world. Of the state? Nope, the world. The world? The fucking world. That's kind of like uh, what's uh, down there at uh, Meridosha, ain't it? I don't know. The, pur- the purple something of the capital of the world. I don't know nothing about that. I fucking guarantee it. Hmm. The world. They have fucking birdhouses right in the middle of the city. You're thinking of a different town. I know what town you're thinking of. Oh, it's not Meridosha? No, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's in that there. county. It's down there. It's in that county, yeah. Yeah, it's on the other side that, of the interstate. That purple bird. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's by Pittsfield. It's. Yeah. I so, want to say it's north of Pittsfield. Somebody right now on the fucking cast is yeah. listening to this saying, "You dumb fuckers!" It's it's yada yada yada. They got this old main street that's got a median yeah. running yep. through the middle it's of town. Nothing but fucking birdhouses. Yeah. They eat the mosquitoes. Yeah, I can't remember. Purple. It's right on the Darling, Illinois. Yeah, it's right on the Illinois River. Purple something. I purple people eater. I think See that's what. It, for the, it's the uh, one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people <laughs> eater. So, once you all see the cast, uh, if you check it out on on our YouTube's uh, Google uh, Illinois yeah. towns, uh, flower capital, and the purple bird. Yeah, of some you'll sort. see. We don't have a Google machine in front of us, so yeah, like we normally this, do. This is our first video podcast. Yes, live at the uh, Scotty's Alibi Inn. This is all we're trying this out for the first time, well, so we don't know what's going on. Uh, yeah. I had that shot and I just drank that whiskey. I think I'm good. I got I've got this uh, this monster here. At first, I drank the monster that that has. Oh, thank you, monster. Normally, I'm a bang energy drink guy, but you went high class. Sometimes you just can't find what you're looking for when it comes to the bangs. They usually usually just shitty flavors. <laughs> There's only one good flavor. And it's, I feel like I feel like of the energy drinks, bang is the methamphetamines. It is like monster is like it the has good creatine Coke. in it. it. It's it's dangerous. This is a sports drink like Gatorade, yep. but it has caffeine in it. Yep. What and you got there? This again is hard to find sometimes. So if I see it, Not, I get it. Purple monsters everywhere in Quincy. In Hamilton, <laughs> go fuck yourself. <laughs> You're never gonna find it. Somebody told me that the Warsaw Dollar General. And the Hamilton Dollar General never have chips. Never. That route is coming open. They asked me if I wanted it today. For the love of God, please take it. Because they're always out of chips. I'm telling you right now, if I get that motherfucker. You know what my choices are of chips when I go in there? Don't say kitchen cooked. No, I don't think they even have kitchen cooked. Uh, It's usually, usually the crumpled up crumbs of the tortilla chips it's just like a whole tortilla chip aisle yeah and then because if you want tortilla chips you go to the mexican restaurant in hamilton you well don't, now Bo. you don't go to fucking tostina's DG. tostina's got a really nice restaurant style blue bag chip is that what you, that's yours tostino's is yeah. uh lace frito yeah. lace yeah so we got you know they got they got a 15 different I've, flavors I, but the restaurant style one's not bad the rest, of them sh- the rest of them are shit. when the bag's all crumpled up because Scotty delivered it, and there's just <laughs> little, you got nothing to dip. If there's so, <laughs> bags with just crumbs are worthless, and that's all you're no, going to find. No, they're not. Is, unless, okay, you're making so a casserole. So here's what you do. Here's what you do is you take that bag, and you pour out half the dip. <laughs> okay, I'm and then listening. And then you pour out half the dip. Make macaroni and cheese one night, make tuna casserole one night, and you pour out half that cheese dip. Instead of using sprinkled cheese, mm-hmm. use that nice queso dip. Okay. Makes my, it's going to make your shit better. So now you have half a jar dip. Make a real slick turd. Yeah. Or a hard one. <laughs> Hell, that cheese. Hard and slick. That's a perfect turd. No wiper. <laughs> oh, shit. I can't wipe. <laughs> it's a mess down there. But anyway, so what you but you do you is need you have a, a tushy. High, no, here's what I need. Portable bidet. Here's what I need. Surgery. <laughs> I need them to go in there and cut all them gumballs out. But I can't get to the doctor. I've missed two appointments because of these fucking chips. I can't have someone else run my route because 
and fill in right now because I got shit so fucked up. Oh my god! That I can't let someone else come and see it. <laughs> oh my god! So like Saturday, I wanted to go camping, but Dollar Junior needed all these crackers, those munchy crackers. <laughs> well, so when I order on Thursday for Saturday, right? Mm-hmm. I order what I need. Sometimes it's a big order. Well, I can unaccept that shit and just roll it into my truck inventory and take them in half. Like right now, my truck inventory is like $1,500 in fucking chips. Cause, but guess what? I only had to work like four hours on Saturday. It's great. Sounds like you still got things fucked up, though. <laughs> it's a mess. Ugh. Fuck him, chips. I mean, it's it's a you mess. Need the, you need the worst all Hamilton route because you can't fuck it up any worse. <laughs> oh, what's his name? Roy, I think's his name. He's about, he's he, so two people in Keokuk. I mean, re- remember, folks. Um, this is a podcast. Not everything is not everything is real. Some's fiction and some other people's opinions. But two guys got fired in Kia Cup. Shit can. Shit can. You know what they was doing? You fired. Erasing the expiration dates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they was. So two routes are coming open, and one of them is that guy. Like He's been there like 30 years. They fired his ass. Take it, man. The only problem is I got to drive to fucking Warsaw every day. Perfect. Like the, world's, the, the world has flipped. Instead of driving from Warsaw to Quincy. Move back to Warsaw. No, fuck Move to Hamilton. No. There's houses for sale in Hamilton. No, I like Quincy. Why? I've got DoorDash. What the fuck? You would save so much money if you moved to Warsaw. And I would eat one brand of pizza. You would have DJs. Every day. JJ (laughs) cooking. JJ cooking. Yeah, I miss DJs. But I don't miss DJs every fucking day. Why not? It's It's chicken night on Wednesday. Let's order Let's order. Fucking takeout. Okay, you've got DJs or Casey's. Um, I think you can still get delivery from. I think uh, Pizza Hut and Domino's will come to Warsaw. Grab your phone and say Siri. Show me takeout. My phone's recording this. And Quincy, <laughs> there's 97 options. I hope it's recording. Have, I have a Sonic. Next time we need a mirror back yes. there so I can like monitor and, and make see sure what's we're going still on. Recording. Yep, That's I get it. The only reason hey, why we had to take a last commercial vi- yep. break, folks. Hey, we're making we're 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 giving you what we can. Yeah, we're That's giving right. you what we can. That's right. Uh, it's just fun to be together. It's fuck. You got it. An amazing man cave down here. That's fucking alibi. This should have been a recording studio. Well, you're in the basement. I didn't think I could ever have a bar down here. Like I didn't think it'd work. It looks amazing. And I went to a buddy's house, and he had a long basement like mine, and he had a bar just like That's this. That's how every bar in Warsaw is. No, but usually it's the layout's different. This is the same size as Shady Cats. Yeah. That was. But I couldn't envision the, it. You know where Shady Cats yeah. used to be? Yeah. I played in there once. What? Yeah, I played in there once. No. Oh yeah. Rowdy Down played in there. Rowdy one time. Down. Okay, not Stagger. No. Sagar played in where it is now, like, well, four, like four times. I played a couple times in yeah. the back. The back was nice. You set up on the deck. Yeah, I played, in the a deck. Little I stage. played inside that fucker once. And I DJed in it once. I think I used to bring my guitar down there and just like yeah. play. I miss that little place. I had a lot of fun in there. I used to just set up and play in the corner. Who's the new owner? My daughter was oh, there the last new, weekend. Of the new Shady Cats? Yeah. Yeah. Um, young couple. I can't remember their names, but. Yeah. What happened to Jeremiah and Cat? Like I think they're moving on to the next business. Jeremiah's cutting hair. That's the next business. I think. That sounds fucking terrible. Own a bar, cut hair. I thought about being a barber. A barber would be all right. Because, okay, so I've grown up. My mom always had a beauty salon. Mm-hmm. I thought that it would make, uh, make good business to just have a straight up clipper. Oh, hold on. Hold on. This usually doesn't happen. I'm going to do this real quick. Okay. Hello? Hello? Hey, what's up? Where are you at home? Uh, yeah, you're live on the podcast. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. How's your day? That's right. My day was really good. Yeah? We was talking um, about you last uh, podcast, you and your fuck buddy. I ruined who? his. I ruined his tailgate. Oh, my boyfriend? Well, you know, whatever. <laughs> but nope, you're, you're calling into the podcast. Any, any, I, any the requests? best podcast in the tri-state area. 
Any uh, oh my any requests on the request line? Yeah, take me off the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have a good day. I, I ran into Bo's son, and he said he listens to the podcast, and I was like, oh, why? Oh, yeah. Where did you run into Bo's son at? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, I ran into him in Keokuk. <laughs> K-Town. All right, have a good day. <laughs> So, speaking of the last episode, I guess you might have something going on there. I mean, you're tearing up tailgates. I'm the one that's got to walk her down the aisle, Bo. You're obviously <laughs> just ruining that that if, connection by tearing it, up personal so, property. So, has White ever ever said, Bo, I want to request, will you learn a song for me? No, but I do know he does listen to the podcast. So, he is going, just so you know, when he does this, don't get mad, just work it up. He was going to want to hear Brown Sugar. You make me feel so good. <laughs> I'll be down. You would be, what would we be to each other? We'd be in-laws? We'd be in-laws and outlaws. And <laughs> Where'd that other shot of Fireball go? I'd do them both. I think you did. Yeah, I'm going to have to do yours. Yep. Sorry. Yeah. I'll pour me just a little touch of this. We'll touch. You know, I feel very special Let's, for. Come on now. Cheers. Jim Beam's been a sponsor since day one. They're always stuck. Oh, room temperature Jim Beam whiskey. <clears throat> I don't know what's worse, that or an enema. And simply organic Doritos. <laughs> White cheddar. Well, you know. So. I've been chewing the Nicorettes, you know, and now I'm like, fucking, I've, the wagon is, the wheels have come off the wagon and I've launched off the wagon. Jesus I've got two Christ. different kinds of chews. I got my Skull, brought to you by Skull, Classic Mint, Long Cut, and Camel Snooze. Is it Snus or Snooze? I don't know. I call it Snooze, but I've heard snus. other people call it Snus. Uh, it. It can cause gum disease and tooth loss, but I'm bullshit. I just proved it wrong. And this one right here says it's uh, addictive, and that is true. (laughs) So whatever happened to the Grizz? They didn't have it at the liquor store we went to. Oh, so you're going with Skull now? But I chewed my last can was Grizz because I've, like I said, come off the wagon. Uh, The Skull packs way better than the Grizz. And there's no price difference, so fuck it. I'm going back to school. What about Copenhagen? Too fine a cut. I don't like yeah, it. Yeah, too fine? Yeah, like... What about Red Man? I don't really like the taste. Or Levi Garrett. And usually not enough people buy Red Man, so it's dry when you buy ah, it. Ah, okay. Well, if you buy it. something that everybody likes, it's fresh. It's fresh. fresh. Yeah. Fresh. Like this shit right here, it's usually out everywhere. Ah! Because because so, everybody buys it. I, everybody buys I it, that's yeah. what I. I mean, that's this my go-to what, when, when I fly. they can't smoke cigarettes. This is what people. Yeah, that's what I buy when I fly. Yeah, because you don't have to spit. Right, and it tastes. I think it tastes good. I spit a little bit with it. Not not this guy, but I do. That's why I don't like chewing chew because you got to spit. Yeah, it's a fucking workout. It's disgusting. You got to carry this thing around. At least it don't. Sometimes stink you like accidentally take though. a drink of it, and that's disgusting. I did that at Sharky one time. Ugh. Oof. Right at my desk, everybody looked at me, and they're like, I just turned white as a ghost. Yeah. And I was like, I know my trash can's right there. I don't want to puke in front of all these people. Oof. Uh, I've, heard, I've never tried it, but I've heard I've heard that it make you just go green. Oh, uh, it was terrible. Oof. I was Oof. just thinking about me. It makes me want to vomit. It was terrible. Uh, so I think I got to so my day. Uh, so I went to Menards. Yeah, we're still, we still we still ain't got back to there. So the battery got the battery in, started that fucker up, went to went went to the Mor- Upper Mormon Park, and uh, checked out the competition. So as I was sitting there, people would come up on the van, and I was watching them, and they would look at the van. They just stare at the van the whole time they was walking by. Well, they know what you're doing in there, cooking meth, or jacking off. One yeah, of the two. Yeah, two. You're doing one of those two yep. things. Or you already have somebody in the van, and you're just taking advantage yep. of them whatever way. Yep. Cutting the there, fingers uh, yeah, off, if, whatever. If, there's, if you're having sex in there, 
the other person is for sure tied up. Yeah. For sure. (laughs) (laughs) So I noticed a trend. They would pull their phones out and hold on to their phones with their hand. Oh, they was ready. It would not be in their hand until they seen the van. Yep. And then their phone would go in their hand. You're I'm surprised the cops didn't show up. Until they were past the van. They thought you'd kidnap them. And then so the mower, one of the guys that was mowing, he like went out of his way to mow a path by me and looked at me. It's like I would have done the same thing in my park. If a van say, comes it, into my park, I'm like, what is, the fuck is going is it, on with this is man? Is it kind of like a park off? Like you just kind of look at him and like he looks at you. I wish there was you some way. You both know that you run a park. No, but I wish there was some way I could like just say just like, say, hey, it's okay, guy. Hey, I do the same I, shit. I do the same shit. You know, it's like we're we're one. We're one. That's we're how on it was when team. I was in the alarm company and the cops yeah. would pull me over. I'm like, dude, we're one. When them little bastards throw out their condoms, we both feel <laughs> we the same both way. We both <laughs> <laughs> they both touch us this is in the same spot man and when the grass is mowed just right yeah we have that same feeling here's the other thing i know and i completely understand but he definitely has way more dandelions than i have yeah. in my park you bet you know what he said i thought i had a dandelion problem either quincy is just that much further south that we haven't got got the him growth yet. or I just got a better park than them. Yeah, that could be. Could be. I might it could be. be more when, on the golf course side than he might be more primitive. Yeah, you, you know? know. You never know. You never know. Do you suppose, and I, this just being a you know, serious question, you suppose he's mowing that grass and he sees, you know, a corner of his eye, he sees that van. He's like, hmm, I've never seen that van before. We don't, we don't have any plumbing issues. Oh, well. He makes a brown, comes back, I was and he's like, "Close to the bathroom." He's like, "That van is still there," and he's looking around at his patrons, and he sees that they're uh, a little shook up. You know, what is this fucking van doing? Do you suppose for five seconds he told himself, "Not in my park"? Guaranteed, he said. <laughs> Guaranteed, he said, not in my park. First of all, he probably thought. That guy's having fun in there. <laughs> he knows how to get, have a good time. That guy knows how to have a good time in his plumbing truck. <laughs> or I was there dead up noon. Most people could have just been thinking it's a plumber on plumber lunch. Plumber on lunch. Yeah. Like, that guy, I hope he washed his hands before yeah. he's eating his sandwich. You got to watch, <laughs> you, you watch tooling around Quincy in that van. I am a Because plumber. it could be like, hey, Uncle, Uncle Paul. Or, <laughs> You know, I never thought about that, but people could be yeah. like, oh, I know that guy. Yeah, like, he does great work. Or or the opposite. Or that motherfucker to I have for 400 bucks. I have had people. Okay, so this is weird, but it's happened like more than this many times. <laughs> and I'm saying this many because we have video. We have That's video. awesome. So uh, I was setting up my equipment for music for a band. And people, really? people be coming up. This has happened more than this many times. <laughs> Hey, can I have your card? And that happens every show. People ask yeah, for my card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's common. So I give him my card, and he looks at it, and he's like, oh, I was looking for a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yes. <laughs> that's happened more than this many times. Fuck, that's amazing. Literally holding musical equipment in yep. my hand. Yeah, There's you- speakers, and they think I'm a goddamn plumber. Well, you got a fucking plumber truck. But, okay, so... Uh, I am a plumber because that's what I just spent all Monday doing was fixing a water line. Mm. I've seen the pic. It I have, okay, so in my in my office, which is in a 150-year-old barn, <laughs> uh, I have a desk. Yep. And in that desk was a drawer that had a map. I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map. It was a map showing where they ran the electrical lines and yep. the water lines for the campground. Yeah. Ah! And so I'm like, okay, this looks official. This is my new Bible. Yeah. I had a water leak. It kind of made sense with the map. I had this wet area for a whole year last year. In fact, when I was metal detecting the year before, before I worked for the park, I slipped and fell in this wet spot. 
<laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this? It must be must be a natural spring. Well, then natural I started. Natural spring. Well, it's Wildcat Springs. Oh, fuck. I I've, knew. Got, I've got a couple phantom wet spots <laughs> in the campground. Sounds like my wife. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm. Have you ever flipped over the mattress? Have I ever flipped it over? I can't. We have a pillow top, and I'm like, this mattress fucking sucks. Let's flip it over. You can't. And she, my wife's like, you can't flip over a pillow no. top. I said, fucking flip it over. We're trying it. We flipped You're it over. You're sleeping on the fucking boards. <laughs> I'm sleeping on foam. Yeah, you can't. Turn it around. We've done it for a week almost. Oh, my. I have a- I'm uh, going to flip it back. Speaking of bed, I have the worst bed known to man. I have a sleep number bed. It's what? Fucking, Is it dual? Yes. And it's- ter- What number are you? I mean, I don't even know. It's so bad. So if you get it too low, you know you're on an air mattress. Yeah. If you get it too high, that's would be me. You know you're on an air mattress. There's no fucking it way. Does it, does it leak out or does it maintain? Nope. No, it maintains. Does it get warm? No, I don't have does that. Does it vibrate? One. Mm-mm. Does it adjust? Mm-mm. Top down? Nope. It's just a it's sleep just a number. sleep number bed. You don't like it? I hate it. Go fuck yourself. I thought I went out and bought amazing. a seven hundred dollar pillow top for it. Because I hated this bed so much. I paid yeah. like $1,500 for this fucking bed. I'm still miserable. Do you like, I wake up, I'm fucking a... sore. Like, I wake up sore. Okay, I'm convinced. There's not a good bed. Nope. There's no such thing Yet. as a good bed. Because the first time I've ever bought a brand new bed is the one I'm currently sleeping it's on. It's terrible. And I've got that motherfucker flipped over. Yep. And it's not even nope. two years old. You will sleep on the best bed you've ever slept in come July 31st. At the Mishawaka. Yep, Meshwaki. Mish- I'm sorry, Mishwaki Casino. Yep, because they are so like beat in <laughs> that they are just I mean, it's amazing. It's you it wake up like a burrito. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. It's so speaking s- of the what's the M- name? Meshwaki. Meshwaki. The fine Meshwaki. <laughs> Mishwaki. Misquaki. 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 Misquaki Police go. Department. They've been on. They've. <laughs> I seen that. That was what fucking made my day. They found a serious gun. Now it's a Smith and Metherson <laughs> guitar. Or guitar uh, gun. <laughs> it like had a flash a flashlight tape to it. Yep. Like it was just. Well, a mess. you need a light. You need a tactical light. It was a homemade double barrel yep. hammer. It had a hammer on it, and then it it looked I, I don't know what caliber. It looked maybe like nine millimeter or thirty eight. Fucking mess. Somebody's Google it. Yeah, just just follow the the. Yeah, follow the Meskwaki Police Force. Yeah, like they literally them. said on their Facebook page, "We are protecting our casino." I follow, and them we are protecting we, our roads into our casino. We. Are booked there yes. for the weekend. Yes, we are on. You know, I don't know if you know if you know this or not. We um, there will be a point on the interstate where we will cross into Indian territory. Territory. Uh, federal police can't pull us over. Like state police can't pull us over. Right. And when you pull, it's it gets sketchy for a minute. Like once you pull in into the gas station, there's one gas station there. It's like a truck stop. Mm-hmm. It's, and you go in there and you like, you know. Do you have to pay a toll? No. Okay. But when you go in there, in it's Oklahoma, like. In Oklahoma, you have to pay like, a fucking toll. Y- it looks like a, like maybe a, it looks like a Love's that lost its sponsorship, <laughs> right? You know what I mean? It's, it's the McDonald's in Russia. They turn the, the M upside down. No, 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 no. It's not that fancy. It's, it looks like <laughs> a, it looks like a, like a Love's that lost its franchise. Okay. It's now just a gas station. It's a Uvs. But there is like one pepsi and one diet pepsi and that's it (laughs) and every other soda you've never heard of oh that's kind of interesting and do they have a like they have marlboro reds and then 75 other cigarettes and none of them are newports no menthol at all oh if you want there's all weird shit it's all shit it's all indian shit like so you got to you're gonna have to come in. It's like traveling in another country. Can you have marijuana on the on the no, reservation? No, only peyote. Spirit it's, journey. It's big peyote town. 
You mean you can go on a spirit journey? You, yeah, that's that's it. Is there a, a, a shaman? I don't know about a shaman. I need okay. Here's what I need. wasn't you and Guru going to do a shaman once. Here's what I need. I need a shaman. I need a drum. I need a hey yo 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 hey yeah. That's it. I need a teepee, and I need a peace pipe. <laughs> You're you're going. That's and I need a a natural sauna. I need like a a fire in there with the the hot rocks and the pouring the water over it. That is where you're going. Just sweating our asses off, puking, licking toads. The whole deal. Like this is like a. I want to see. I want to go on a real live spirit journey. I want to see the aliens. Yeah, you're gonna see some shit. Yes. But this is like send me to the moon. Like you'll notice, you'll be seeing like house. Not you know, nice brick house on the interstate, and then all of a sudden you start seeing trailer houses. Yes, lots and lots of like modulars mm-hmm. that don't have no skirting. Yeah, and you can tell. Well, you need to get in there and work on the pipes. It's the reservation. <laughs> yeah, and you like it's a different okay, world. Here's the deal. So when you reach, I think it's eighteen, you get like this. Uh, you get a, a lump sum. Yeah, from the government. Well, from your tribe, from stealing their land. Yeah, you get this lump sum, and you can either. A, invest it, like invest in yourself, go to school, yeah, shit like that. You could probably go to school for free just for being an Indian. Just being an Indian. But my suggestion would be to be an entrepreneur, invest it, start a business. But most people, what they do is they just fucking- Buy a gas station. No, not even that. Oh, wrong Indian. No, they fucking, they buy the cheapest place they can find on their reservation- yeah. And then they spend most of it on hookers and cocaine or meth. All right. And, I, and a really I, nice car. So that here's they the total deal. within a well, year. Well, here's the deal. I can see both sides of it. I, I mean, I really can. You, if I got this lump sum. And you had I a would, bunch of coke and four hookers <laughs> and a brand new modular home. You're not going to have a good time? You can't, get good, you can't get good coke anymore. It's all got. It's all laced and shit. Yeah, that's true. So they have to go with meth. Yeah, I ain't want no part of that. I want to go fast for like half hour. Not for two days. <laughs> like, fuck a meth. <laughs> it's like, here, man, have some meth. And you're like, all right, man, fuck it. Yeah, fuck. I hope you didn't make plans for the week. <laughs> Like what? Hope you made lots of plans because you're gonna get a lot of shit done. <laughs> Fuck. So Buckle up. I could probably use a, a prescription to Adderall. Like I probably am ADD. That's why actually the park's a pretty good deal because I got so much shit going well, on at once. I can do like a little this, a little that. Little I don't this. know if it's ADD. I mean, you've got something. You've got something. Like yeah. As your best friend, I'm gonna tell you, you got something. I got all sorts of issues. You got something going on. <laughs> like. If my I, main issue right now, off the top of my head, morning rage. That's a big issue. I don't know if anybody has more morning rage, but I'm terrible. No, I've mentioned this on the podcast before, but it's terrible. I'm suicidal it's a, in the morning. It's fucking embarrassing. I might kill like a whole busload of people. Like when I wake up, it's like, do I want to go to work or do I just want to fucking kill myself? Because I mean, it's like fuck. Like and I'm depressed when I wake up. But then, at what time? What, what time it, do I come around? Does I, it take I, like what does it take to get? Once okay. I get a new port in me and, and about two, just two drinks of coffee, then I'm I'm good. I think maybe I have it figured out. It's I have to have caffeine and nicotine. And nicotine yeah. yeah, I mean it's yeah. So it's just a it's a reliance issue. Yes. It's like you've been asleep yes. for eight hours and you don't have the shit well, in you or five or I mean, whatever. I mean, it's fucking to be. chip business. Yeah, I've never slept eight hours in my life straight mm. through. One, I don't have the prostate for that. And two, speaking of, let's take a little break because I'm about to piss my piss myself all right folks we're gonna take one last short pause for the cause <laughs> here's a word from our sponsors then you walked away <laughs> Ta da! Can't you see? <laughs> <laughs> Go! 
going to take a freight train. <laughs> <laughs> Some, something like that. <laughs> We're back. Episode 15. 15. Uh, cheers. Sp- sponsored by Jib Beam Whiskey. <laughs> and Bud Light Seltzer Lemonade. And I don't drink whiskey straight. Jameson? Hold on. We got a special guest on the pod. Hola. You got her, You got stuff she ain't happy about it. Jameson. What's in there? The cork? Yeah. <laughs> That's Jameson Black Label Triple Distilled Irish Whiskey. Seven. It, when I bought it, or it was bought for me, uh, three years ago, it was 17 years old. So right now it's 20. Damn. It hasn't had the cork in it, so I don't know if that matters. That's an investment. It's 20 years old Jameson Black Label Barrel something. It definitely has the cork in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's because she's in there stealing it. Like, it might be tea. I don't know. Taste it. Nope. 20-year-old <laughs> <laughs> Irish whiskey. Here, I'll play music. Irish whiskey. Like, what makes it Irish? Wait a minute. That's McAllister sweet tea. <laughs> Fermented. <laughs> That's whiskey. Ooh. Uh, also brought to you by Skull Classic Mint Long Cut and Camel. S- what did we decide? Snooze. Snus. Yeah. Bless you. <coughs> Bless you. One more. Yeah, baby. Now we're talking. I'm allergic to tea. And then uh, Monster Energy Ultraviolet, which you can't get in Hancock County. And Monster Blue Streak Hydro Sport Superior Hydration. And last but not least, Simply Organic Doritos White Cheddar Tortilla Chips. (laughs) Brought to you by the Frito-Lay Company. Yeah, fuck him chips, BJ. I forgot what we were talking about, but that's okay. Because uh, Fresh Slate. Fresh Fresh Slate. slate. Yeah, we're going to start anew. Uh, I need to give a park update. Yes, absolutely. There's so much. Tell us about, well, first things first. How's the bridge? So we removed the forms. Uh, We we poured a little over four uh, yards in each side for the footer. Okay. I dug... The skid steer dug uh, four holes down to bedrock, 12-inch holes. Mm -hmm. And then I drove rebar and T-posts, whatever I could find, into that. Made a cage, formed up around that. Made two footers. And then I put gravel around the footers. I still need to add a bunch of gravel on the backside of the footers. But then, uh, really, I'm waiting for the ground to get hard enough so we can retrieve the trailer that's going to be the bridge. It's sitting next to a pond. Oh, so you're using a... It's in a swamp. Using a trailer for the using a trailer that we're going to take the wheels and the legs from underneath it and turn it into a bridge. That's genius, really. I've had volunteer help with it, which is yeah. really nice because it one makes me look good, two makes the park look good. Yeah, and absolutely. Three, it makes the the community just stronger because like it snowballs. Like if you get one volunteer, you yeah. get two volunteers. So you have you thought about? And now this just. This is this just hunch, mm-hmm. wild ass guess, right? I did some park work in my day. I was about fourteen. It was called restitution. <laughs> have you thought about reaching out to your local? They already have my number. Probation officer. Last year, I had a community service guy that did two hours of weed eating every every day. Probably wasn't worth a fuck. Monday, no, he did well because I weeded, weed eated, trimmed right alongside of him, so he had to keep up with me. So every day for two hours, every day, one o'clock in the afternoon, he showed up. Hotter than fuck. Yeah. Hottest part of the day. Yeah. Show up at one. He showed up at one. God forbid he shows up at seven. And I felt bad for just sending him to weed eat. So I would weed eat with him. We'd go to whatever park or the football field or whatever. And I'd say, you start that end. I start at this end. We'll meet in the middle. I start walking your way. You start walking mine. 
Yeah. We meet <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> so good. I hope we don't run out of time. Or string. Because <laughs> he would only work two hours. <laughs> but anyway, he made, so he had like 100 plus hours, so he made that last the whole summer. So I guaranteed I had basically four hours weed yeah. eating every day. That's what you need. A I don't have that guys. currently. I'm waiting for that lady to call me and say, yep. I've got a couple kids. Yep. I'd call I'd call her and check in tomorrow. Uh, I can't be like, remember her name, but anyway. I'd be like, just hey, heads up. You know, I got some I got I got some work. I've been lucky and had plenty of volunteers. So here's what you could do. Here's what you could do. You could help them and just simply say, Okay. I mean you got a van. Yep. Right? I have a nice van. I've got 121,000 miles, 1994 G20. I've got all kinds of, this is what we'll do. You got a rock guy? A rock guy? Yep. Like? I can deliver a road of rock. Bo Whitaker of Hustler Trucking. Okay. So here's what we do. We call Bo. Mm -hmm. I, I buy a load of rock. Okay. I have it delivered and dumped. Now, load You're of rock typically on the weekend for us is... Couple guitars, <laughs> couple amplifiers. Yeah, yeah. Have you never <laughs> been to Spain? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bow, yeah. Bow, bow. <laughs> I'm thinking we get a couple restitution guys out there, spread some rock in that Bahama camper. That's called community service. Menden's not a community. <laughs> They're not working for you. Speaking of, the Hamilton Park District is its own village. Which means we are a municipality. Which means that I can write tickets, motherfucker. Really? If I go to have a you class, wrote one? I have to go to a. You class. You need to go to a class because I, I I need I you need to write to a ticket. I need to take a part time law enforcement class. I for need the you state to write of Illinois, ticket. and then I can write tickets. I I'm need, gonna get this done. Yeah, I need it's you my to write win, tickets. It's my next winter project. So yep. Watch I need out. you to write a ticket. Not in my park, motherfucker. Yep. I need you to write a ticket. We need to talk about it. It's po that's podcast material. Yeah. Uh, bridge. I got I got uh, some concrete pads. You got going. water line fixed. Water line's fixed. Campground's open. I'm putting new concrete pads in spot one and two. Yeah. You just let a little gas go? Just a little toot. Just a little, little toot. toot. Probably it, can't it, pick it up on these mics. Well, it scratches. But I wanted to bring it up. It's like an internal scratch. Because I'll probably smell it in a minute. No, like, no. My, <laughs> my, no. It, I don't stink. Like me? Like so, mine's mine smell like Skittles. How was mine at the top? <laughs> top? <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, we got, um, we got uh, April thirtieth coming. Hollywood and Vine. April, Mar, and then two weeks later, May sixteenth. My Google machine is recording this. I would tell you what. Ta no, I don't remember. The Dukes, time. Quincy. We can't. That's a par private party. Oh, I'm I'm playing a private party this weekend. Hey, top secret. Yep. So's mine. Whispering Oaks, Minden, Illinois. Everyone come. On a what night? Saturday. Oh shit. Saturday. I'm at Corks and Barrels. Which is bullshit. And that place is gonna be shit packed. You should so be with us. That would be awesome. And ninety seven golf carts. <laughs> but instead, I'm gonna be at Corks and Barrels. Saturday night, Fort Madison, Iowa. Come down, see me. We'll probably have the front doors open, and I'll be on the porch, and that'll be nice. I hope so it snows. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> if it snows, that means it's snowing on you. Yeah, and you're going to no be shit. at the campground, and there's going to be a bunch of golf yep. carts trying to get dug out. I got my old buddy, uh, Greg Bull. You know Greg. Yeah. He's coming up to camp for the weekend. His first camping trip ever. So he got a new camper? He, no. Well, it's new to him. Got, yeah. New got to a him. Camper. He's just getting into the he camping He bought it business. in October. Perfect. He hasn't camped in it yet. Perfect. Only in his yard. Perfect. This is first expedition. I can't believe you have spots available, but that's awesome. He's there, and Stagger's well, yeah, going to be got, playing. Got seven spots. Is the party going to be on your deck, or is it going to be on Moose's deck? Moose's deck, for sure. I already told him. I already told him. <laughs> I said, about the third set, we're going to start announcing after ups at your place. Yeah. He's I, like, I'm fine. That's fine. The coldest, I said, you know what? Here's the thing. Is he wants to have this fucking badass venue he's created? Like it is. It's amazing. It's, I've seen it. I've it's taken amazing. a tour. It's the most badass thing. He just put a wall up now. Yeah. Like a back bar. Oh, it's fucking. It's it's. I don't remember if I've seen. It that makes enough. me jealous. I I last time I played there solo, he gave me a tour. 
But I played at his house. It was coldest I've ever coldest show. You got frost. Yeah, frost. I was listening to the cast today. <laughs> oh, that's right. We talked about. Yeah. Okay. All right. But I told him. I said, you know what? You want to have this badass place. It comes with downfalls. He's like, what do you mean, man? Well, Scotty's in the house, so now every after party is at your place. Yeah. You want to have a badass fucking venue? That's what you get. Here we come. I might. I, it is nice. Me and Danny may show up with our instruments. That'd be pretty cool. And then we'll just wait for you to get there. I'm going to be at Corks and Barrels. You're done at midnight. Am I? Yep. Okay. Well, I don't remember. You what can time. be there by 1.30. Fuck, no, I can't. <laughs> I got to tear down. <laughs> tear down. And it's like an alleyway where I'm Yeah, because you fucking, it takes you six gotta, hours to tear down. No. Stop doing that. Just grab the cords, put them all in a box. This is why my cords last 10 years and yours last 10 shows. <laughs> if they're lucky. Bo, it's about a good time. A good time would be. Can't you see? <laughs> I'll never be able to play that song again. <laughs> You've ruined that for me. <laughs> well, uh, I have to play an instrument on every show now. I th- it's a new thing. I like it. I like that thing. I, I got some positive responses from uh, from playing some live shows or you know, songs on the podcast. Yeah, right? hell yeah. People, people. This people. is the one we should have done it. We could have actually, actually, we could have played together and done a show. Could have. We should have set it up that way. Damn it. Damn it. I wish you could smoke down here. Oh, me too. I'd smoke a thousand cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's what you need to do. Where's the exterior wall? Is it that one? Mm-hmm. We need to put in an exhaust fan. It, it, my wife can fucking... She, it doesn't matter. Let's put a hood in right here. A <laughs> hood. Let's put a hood in. Like you would have over like a, a range. Yeah, like a kitchen. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll run it out straight out there. And podcast listeners will hear... <laughs> while we have a great podcast without many breaks. Well, yeah, you want to have to take a break. Uh, Where did you get the rock star? That's um, cool. The guy that built the bar gave that to me. I turn and show the podcast listeners, but the guy uh, when I had this uh, this guy that worked for me, mm-hmm. I was like, I just you know, he came to work and I said, "You're not putting an in internet today. You're going to my house and building a bar." <laughs> <laughs> when you're the boss, you can do that shit, right? <laughs> so he came and built me a bar, and and when he got done, he's like, "Hey, man," I was like, I, "He's like, you, you ain't got no neon lights." I was like, "Man, I'm fucking." No, not yet. This they're, bar is breaking me. They're expensive. He's like, well, here, I got one for you. Give me that rock star light. Okay. Why don't you have USB charging ports in the middle of the bar? Why, don't ev- why doesn't every bar because, have that now? Because we, there's drunks like you that spill their fucking booze on the bar. You make it raised. You do like uh, two or three inches taller than the bar. And you have the USB ports. No, plus I get it. Lightning I get it. Ports, yeah, I get it. The whole it. deal. I mean, yeah. It's just an eyesore. We're gonna do that for your campground bar. You can. It's outside. That's. We're gonna figure that out. We're gonna do the uh, the electric the little no, plastic covers. No, no. You can, then you can't outdoor s- covers. You can't slide a shot down the bar. You're gonna have plenty of room to slide a shot down the bar. And it's just going to be decking boards for your bar. You're not going to. I, have I sure the fuck hope Danny's listening to this. We know he's listening to it. Half <laughs> Hancock County's listening to it. Our numbers are so good, we got like 20 sponsors. You know, uh, our numbers this last week tripled. Really? Yeah, we're almost at a thousand a week. It's because people were like, "What the fuck happened to the show when I went on vacation?" Yeah, you fucked it up. Uh. Speaking of, we need to do like a couple and put them in a bank for shit like that. We need to do like a, it, uh, so our I, best of. Yeah, I or, listen to I listen to some podcasts and they're like, yeah, you know, they like started out with with just an intro. Mm-hmm. And they're like, yeah, this is one that we put in the bank. Hope y'all enjoy it. Uh, and it's kind of tough because you you can always tell that it's a little outdated. 
Right. You can always tell. But so going into it's something. It, yeah, we know in the back of our minds that's gonna be fucked up. Like we know that we're talking every show we know that. <laughs> well, we're not talking freely, we're talking in for the future. Okay. So you're like, yeah, you know, fuck, it's it's supposed to be 85 this weekend. And you're like, no, it's not. You know, it, it, it's not because we're... Well, normally, every time we get together, there's going to be a storm. And in fact, I think there <laughs> fact, is. tomorrow is severe thunderstorm warnings yeah. all, all day. This happens every time. So what are you going to do all day in the rain? I have to take my wife to the doctor. Oh. So I will not be at work tomorrow, but it's not going to be a big deal oh, because to- it's going to be rain. No, tomorrow is a big... A big so that, you're taking her to the doctor tomorrow? Yeah. Is this, this the first ultrasound? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm at the age now where my kids can have kids. Yeah. So am I. So are you. So I'm so actually. Are, so are so are we. I'm <laughs> I'm starting to Brown think about sugar. that. I wouldn't mind having a grandkid. Oh, fuck that. I'm not ready for that. I, still got I just Jackson. don't want another kid. If I didn't have Jackson. Right, you got a young now. My now, now I have now. I have two that are just about to step out of the nest, and and then I would be. You want to have a couple years to just once they're chill. out of the nest. Yeah, give me a couple years out of out yep. of the nest, and then my oldest Wyatt. Hopefully, he's settled where he's got a like career and like, or at least happy. I just yeah, want him to yeah. be happy. Yeah. I don't care about a career. I just want him to be happy. So if he's happy and then has a kid, I would be. Well, if he has a kid tomorrow, I'd be happy. What if it was it was one quarter black? You mean you wouldn't have to buy sunscreen? You go to the no. If it, you it, go if you go to the beach, that kid wouldn't have to get sunscreen applied. No, it, it, it get, wouldn't get it get the, it get the perfect tan. Look like, like the rock. I would be ecstatic. I'm just asking. Exactly. How exciting would that be? What if it was an older woman? Even better. Like four years older. One that's got a little experience that could yeah. like say, hey, this is probably a bad idea. What I've if, made this mistake already. What if, what if her dad, I mean, this is kind of a down thing, right? You know. I don't know. Let me have what it. What if he was a lead bass player? That's what he play did. in my band? Like he wasn't a bass player. For pl- a cheaper rate? Like. <laughs> Like he wasn't just a bass player. You know, for like he fun. Was, he was a lead bass player. <laughs> like he played lead bass. I go for that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll drink to that shit. Hey, that's a mo- <laughs> wait. Wait a minute. People can see this. That's a monster. Mm. This podcast is brought to you by Room Temperature Jim Beam Whiskey. Kentucky Straight Bourbon whis- Whiskey, James B. Bean. None genuine without my signature. 40% alcohol by volume, 80 proof. Jim Beam, Kentucky Straight Whiskey. Ta da! And <laughs> pure <laughs> deliciousness. Simply organic Doritos. White cheddar tortilla chips. Tortilla. So good, like they are. And so then good. they don't even make them anymore. No. Like we might, eat, we might save this one just because it's gonna be worth money one day. You don't open it, pop and lace. Yep, you're, that that's popping it. And then, nope. So nope. So that's. What, so look, so chips are like this. You you can't have chips like this, right? You can't just have them on there, right? Right. So. How are you coming into the store? You're coming in from the steps, right? If this was a store. Yeah. So you want to make sure that you pop it. And then if it was like this, you got to pop it and then lace it. So every chip is front and back. Nice. Now. Fuck uh, them chips. Let's say you're getting close to expiration date. Yep. Two days. Yep, two days. Two days away. Yep. You're not going to be there for three days. You got to take it that day. No shit. Yep, or do like I do and put it in the very, very back because you've already did the paperwork and you don't want to do it again until you come back. God damn. Do those go on the truck and come back to Bo Cephas? Yes. That's what this is? Yes. Perfect. 
So today, today was a stale day. Nice. The 19th. Yeah. Stale We day. talked about these last pod. Speaking of which, how excited are you? What? Tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow. Are you going to leave out cookies for Snoop Dogg tonight? Oh. Tomorrow is the day. That's why my wife made me busy. Tomorrow's I the day. I just figured it out. Yeah. Happy holidays, motherfuckers. <laughs> Tomorrow is the day. Tomorrow is the one day, no matter what will happen, you'll get a post from Dukes at Hancock. <laughs> it was a clear black night, a clear white moon. Mormon G was on the streets trying to consume. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tweaking into a, a whole, whole new, new era. era. G Funk, step to this. I dare ya. Funk on a whole new level. The rhythm is the bass, and, and the, the bass, bass is, is the, the treble. treble. Chords, strings, we brings. Well, rhythm is life, <laughs> and life is rhythm. Oh. I can't. <laughs> and on the flute <laughs> Flute your flute Greg Flute your flute Greg He's a flute Nick ain't got no Nick. neck That's the No best. neck Nick That is my favorite Bob and Tom Nick neck Paddy whack give a dog bone Don't give no neck bone <laughs> Nick ain't got no neck No neck Nick No neck Nick <laughs> That's so my favorite. <laughs> Nick, Nick, Batty Wack. Okay, so final update on the park, and we'll wrap this shit up. Okay. Yeah. So, so May 28th. May or April? May 28th. It's Memorial Day. You have exactly one week. April 27th is the final for signing up for the color run. So a month? A month away is the color run. But okay. I need to... A month lead time to make the t-shirts okay. so i gotta have sign up done you have a week and it'll be less than a week when this pod comes out so all i need is name race is that white black <laughs> no i'm sorry mexican name age gender <laughs> i don't need race <laughs> Long-haired, freaky people need he not apply. apply. <laughs> it, I was thinking gender. I was going to make a joke about gender. If you don't want to put down your gender, that's fine. But we're going to guess. Yeah. Male, female, the winner, loser, whatever. Um, anyways, <laughs> I need to know your T-shirt size. I need to have a check for 25 bones made out to the Hamilton Park District. And but don't be no neck bone. <laughs> <laughs> Nick ain't got no neck. By April twenty seventh, find me in the park. Drop it off at the uh, at the uh, the barn in the deposit box for the for the camping, or um, I don't know. Message the Facebook page, whatever. But I need I need uh, I need people to sign up for this shit because I want to have a good time yeah, on May twenty eighth. Yeah. We're gonna have a color run, like and it. then Sunday. Sunday fun day. Oh, after the color run on the 28th is the Perfect Storm, which is a, a nine-hole disc golf tournament in City Park where we're having the color run. So after that, Sunday, there's another 18-hole disc golf tournament at Wildcat. Nice. And I don't know. There might be some live music there. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, sir. So where are you at this weekend, Bo Wayne? I'm at Corks and Barrels, and you were in a campground. I am at a private party. That's I'm, right. I'm at a Whispering Oaks. <laughs> what the <that> woman? <laughs> Can't you see? Anyways, uh... This has been a fun podcast. We need to do more of these. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, the, the it's episode fifteen. We've been doing this for now for fifteen weeks. Um, I didn't think we'd make it past three. Sixteen, technically. I went on vacation. We did a little recap. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, well um, holiday road. I, th- <laughs> I think I think we're at fifty. Yeah, it, we're fifteen. It's episode fifteen, not counting the bonus episode that we did when we decided. Oh my God, episode one was so fun. Yeah, let's, let's record on a Sunday. <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, thanks for all the listeners. Like I said, we're uh, we went from oh. six, sixty-five listeners to um, I think I think last week was a thousand and like four. So. We're getting there. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. We are going to do some more guests. We have, uh, we're definitely going to get John Casey. Yeah. We got to get Skender on. We got to get Ryan Dixon. He's coming back. Ryan Dixon, we need to get him on, and we need to get uh, um, Doug Ewing. Yes, Doug, for sure. We're going to get Danny Stevens on this and really talk about this deck shit. Um, Lance Clark, I mentioned him. Yeah, because he's uh, your first porn. <laughs> My first porn. We need to talk about that. Yeah, <laughs> which was basically his dad's porn. But and, yep. And now that all the court cases and bullshits over, I'm gonna get my daughter on this podcast to tell you what she really fucking thinks about yeah, Quincy, Illinois courthouses, like and just let her vent. Fuck it. And maybe we'll work on our camera oh, sides. Yeah, we're gonna get the wives on and talk about how they really feel about my me, wife said. Fuck Bo. no. I <laughs> said so <did> my wife. <laughs> my wife says I told her about it. She's like, uh, no. I was like, baby, it'd be so fun, you know. You guys can chit chat stories. She goes, she um, not about it. She goes, there's not a whole lot of fun stories during that time. <laughs> I thought, I said, babe, for every five fun stories I've got, you've got to have one. She's like, for every five stories you've got, I've got five <laughs> miserable ones. She goes, do you know what it's like to cook breakfast? To wake up and pour coffee and start me some breakfast and look out and you're in the front yard <laughs> with no pants on. <laughs> All you've got is a sh- sleeveless shirt and a guitar. I'm going to pee my pants. <laughs> I hope it burns. We got to stop this podcast. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was episode 15 with your boys. We're live here at... Uh, we're live the on Alibi! The, yeah, live on the YouTube. It's our first live show at the I got to go. I'm about to pee. Peace. <laughs> what a shit show Episode 15, there you go Wild at the Alibi Inn To say the least Anyway, we'll catch you next time Same channel, folks Peace Great till they gotta be great. I just took a DNA test. Turns out I'm a hundred percent that bitch. Even when I'm crying crazy, I got boy problems as a human in me. Bling bling, then I saw them as a goddess in me. Could have had a bad bitch like a middle. Help you with your career just a little. You used to hold me down, but now you're holding me back. And that's a sound for me not calling you back. Why I'm in great till they gotta be great. Don't text me, tell her straight to fly face. Best friend set me down in the salon chair. Shampoo breasts get you out of my hair. Fresh photos with the bomb lighting. New man on my Minnesota Vikings. True thirds needed something more exciting. Bum diddy bum de bum bum day.
bully, 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 bully. Watch it now, watch it. He rocks in the treetops all day long, hopping and a bopping and singing his song. All the little birds on Jaybird Street love to hear the robin go tweet, 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 rock and rock, tweet, tweet, rock and rock, tweet, tweet. Go rock and rock, we're really gonna rock tonight. She's my Dixie Land delight. That's how we do, how we do. Fancy like ooh. Fancy like ooh. Fancy like ooh. Tastes like strawberries on a summer evening. Baby, you're the end of June I want your belly And a summer feeling Getting washed away with you Break me in Break me out I don't know If I could ever go without Watermelon sugar high Watermelon sugar high Watermelon sugar high Jolene, 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 Jolene I'm begging you, please don't take my man Jolene, 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 Jolene Please don't take him just because you can Your beauty is beyond compare Flame and lots of auburn hair Will I be skin and eyes of emerald green?
Papa asked me twice and baby pretty please She said yes and a New York minute He never tied the knot, his heart wasn't in it He just stole a kiss as he rode away Never hung up his hat in Miss Kitty's place Should've been a cowboy Should've learned to rope and ride Wearing my six shooter, riding my pony on a cattle drive Stealing a young girl's heart Just like Gene and Roy Singing those campfire songs Oh, I should've been a cowboy They got guns to my head I think I'm going down I can't believe it's happening in my own town If I had wings, I would fly Let me contemplate Dance in the cup And I see the homie look Sixteen in the clip And one in the hole Nate Dog is about to make Somebody's turn cold Dropping that in it It's a tad bit late Nate Dog and Warren G Had to regulate That's it. <laughs> now mix that bitch.